All right, I want to look at the trig functions of four very special angles. These are what we call the quadrant angles. So I'm going to draw my coordinate system in here. And the first angle I want to look at is a zero degree angle. Well, a zero degree angle in standard position has its initial side on the positive x-axis, and you turn through an angle of zero so that so the terminal side is also on the positive x-axis. What I want to do then is take any point on the terminal ray, and that's point on the positive x-axis, so take your pick. I'm going to just say 3 comma 0. Right? Well, if the x is 3 and the y is 0, then r is equal to the square root of 3 squared plus 0 squared, which is just the square root of 9, which is 3. So r and x are both the same thing. Well, maybe that makes sense, right? That r is the distance from the origin, so I mean that's just 3. But looking at this, and using the definitions that I have used now, um, I've got that the sine of 0 degrees is, sine is, I got I, uh, there's no real triangle to look at here. I mean, there is a triangle, but it's just really skinny. And so I'm, I've, I've got this in my head. I'm, I'm looking at this thinking, uh, if this was the angle, then this is x, and this is, no, it's not. This is x, and this is y, and this is r. Um, okay, sine is opposite. So it's y over r. So it's the y coordinate of 0 divided by r of 3. 0 divided by 3 is 0. Um, that's an equal sign. The cosine of 0 degrees is the adjacent side divided by the partner. So x divided by r, this is 3 divided by 3. The cosine is equal to 1. The tangent of 0 degrees is opposite over adjacent y over x. So the y coordinate is 0, the x coordinate is 3. Well, 0 divided by 3 is 0. The cotangent of 0 degrees is the reciprocal of the tangent. It's 3 divided by 0. We don't know how to divide by 0. Um, this is undefined. We'll actually see that um, as the angle gets closer and closer to 0, that the cotangent will actually go get closer and closer to infinity. Uh, so that when we start looking at a graph, there'll be an asymptote at, at 0 here. Um, for cotangent. Um, secant is the reciprocal of the cosine, so we're looking at 3 over 3, right? 3 over 3, which is 1, and the cosecant of 0 degrees is um, uh, cosecant. Cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine, so r over y, uh, which is 3 over 0, which is again undefined. So zero degree angle. One, sometimes I actually draw them. It's like there's not much triangle there to draw. Sometimes I draw it anyway. You know, how, how often do I ever draw an angle perfectly right? So, you know, maybe I maybe I miss my zero degree angle um, by a little bit, and I say, well, if that's a zero degree angle, the opposite side here is zero, and then these two sides have the same length. So, in the way I had it here was three over three, right? And so I can see with this triangle, even though it looks kind of funny. Um, I can still see the right relationships, that the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, the cosine is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, and the tangent is the, whatever these two sides are, opposite over adjacent, right? That, that, you know, that's not really a zero degree angle, but it gives you the right relationships here and lets you see what those trig functions are. Right? So that's the zero degree angle. Um, the next quadrant angle is when you're right smack dab between the first and the second quadrant. That would be a 90 degree angle. So let's scroll that up there and let's draw my coordinate axes in. Let's draw a 90 degree angle in. So I've got an initial side on the x-axis, a terminal side on the positive y-axis. That's my 90 degree angle. I need any point on the uh, terminal ray. Now I used 3 on the x-axis. I'm going to actually use 1 on the y-axis just because 1's an easier number to work with. Um, so x coordinate is 0, y coordinate is 1, which of course makes r equal to 1, right? R, r is the square root of 0 squared plus 1 squared, which is 1. Okay. So here we go. What's the sine of 90 degrees? Well, the sine of 90 degrees is, 
And again, I got to kind of think a little bit here. I get my usual triangle. This is theta, this is x, this is y, this is r. So the sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse, y over r. I don't remember y over r. I really don't. I, I, sine, I know, is far away side over hypotenuse. And, oh yeah, it's y over r. Can I look at it like that? So the y coordinate is 1, r is 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. Uh, the cosine of 90 degrees? Well, the cosine is going to be x over r. So the x coordinate is 0. The r coordinate, well, r coordinate our value is 1, 0 divided by 1 is 0. Um, next thing, what does that be? Tangent of 90 degrees? Tangent of 90 degrees is the opposite over the adjacent, so y over x, y over x, 1 over 0. This is a problem, can't divide by 0, that's undefined. And the cotangent of 90 degrees is the reciprocal of the tangent 0 divided by 1. I certainly can divide into 0, that's alright, that's 0. Um, the secant of 90 degrees is the reciprocal of the cosine, so 1 divided by 0, there's a problem, undefined. And lastly, uh, the cosecant of 90 degrees is reciprocal of sine, that's 1. Okay. Terminal ray on the positive y-axis. The triangle is tough to draw. When you drop a perpendicular, you don't really see the triangle. But again, sometimes I actually do draw it. I say, well, here's my 90 degree angle, and I'm my you know my right angle, and then I'm going to have a 90 degree angle over here. And, well, I didn't quite draw that 90 degree angle right, but um, but what I'm saying is that this side has length zero. The y coordinate here I had is one, and then the hypotenuse is also one. Okay. If I really drew that angle right and really drew this side length exactly the length zero, this would be squeezed down to almost nothing. Well, it would be squeezed down to nothing. There'd just be a line segment there. But it, I still think of it as a triangle. It's just that one of the sides has length zero and the other two sides happen to lie right on top of each other. But still, look at this angle. Look at this triangle. What's the sine of this angle here? It's the opposite over the hypotenuse. What's the cosine? It's the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And I'm getting these numbers here. Kind of looks a little funny, but uh, but it works for me. Okay, next quadrant angle is 180 degrees. So we are term initial ray in the positive x-axis, terminal ray on the negative axis. There's my 180 degree angle. I need a point on that terminal ray. Well, let's take the point again. I like one just because it's easy to work with. I could use anything here, negative 7, negative 22, uh, I'm just going to choose negative 1, comma 0, because the y coordinate is 0 right there. So there's x and y. r, of course, is calculated from the square root of x squared plus y squared. Again, that negative doesn't really matter, because when you square it, it's positive. And so r is 1. And here we go. What's the sine of, nine, of 100? Oop, what just happened? Sorry. We just got some interference, because I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing. Here we go. What's the sine of 180 degrees? Probably safer if I do that. The sine of 180 degrees is... I have to look at this picture. Here's my angle. Here's my R. The opposite side is the vertical one, Y. The horizontal side is the adjacent one here, X. So sine Y over R. So the Y coordinate of 0 over R of 1. That's 0. The cosine of 180 degrees is x over r. So that would be the x coordinate over r, negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. Now you may notice that I, you know, I kind of pause and look and think. I, after all these years of doing it, I've been, I learned trig 30 years ago or something like that. It's been a while. Um, and I teach it a couple times a year. Um, I still I don't have these things memorized. I, I have this I have this picture and I know what sides I need. Um, but if you said, you know, tangent, what side? You know, what's the, what's the formula x over y, r over whatever? I literally have to look at the picture and say, oh yeah, tangent y over x, tangent the y coordinate over the x coordinate. Tangent of 180 degrees is zero over negative one. The y coordinate is zero. The x coordinate is negative one, and so we end up with one, zero divided by negative one is zero. 
cotangent of 180 degrees would be the reciprocal of the tangent. We're going to have troubles here because we got that zero in the denominator. This is undefined. Uh, and the secant of 180 degrees is the reciprocal of the cosine. That's not a problem. The cosine would be, so the secant is r over x. So r is 1, x is negative 1. That's just negative 1. And lastly, we've got the cosecant of 180 degrees. And that is cosecant of 180 degrees. Cosecant r over y. So the r is 1, the y is 0. We got troubles here. Uh, this is undefined. Right? We have one more quadrant angle. Um, I say one more quadrant angle. There's lots of quadrant angles. Anything that's coterminal with 0 or 90 or 180 or 270 degrees, right? So you could have negative 90 or you could have 360 plus 90, which is 450, right? Anything that ends up, or that terminal ray ends up on one of the axes, positive or negative x or y axis, you've got what we call a quadrant angle. Let's look at the one down here at 270 degrees, okay? So let's finish this up quickly. So if the angle's all the way down here at 270 degrees, 270 degrees starting you know we're in standard position so um, starting here rotating around to there um, pick a point here x coordinate 0 y coordinates anything you want as long as it's negative again I just find using negative 1 probably the easiest x is 0 y is negative 1 r is equal to the square root of 0 squared plus negative 1 squared which is 1 Okay. So here we go. Sine of 270 degrees is, let's say correctly, x, no, not x, come on, x is down here, x, y, r, there we go. The sine of this angle is y over r, so y coordinate minus 1 over r is 1. The cosine of the angle, 270 degrees, is cosine x over r, so the x coordinate divided by r. That would be 0. The tangent of 270 degrees is y over x. y over x is minus 1 over 0. That's the problem. This is undefined. Uh, the cotangent of 270 degrees is the reciprocal of the tangent. This is going to be better. I like dividing into 0. That's all right. That's just 0. And then we've got the secant of 270 degrees. The secant of 270 is the reciprocal of the cosine. I've got the x-coordinate. No, the r of 1 divided by the x-coordinate of 0, that's undefined. And lastly, the cosecant of 270 degrees is reciprocal to sine 1 over negative 1. That would be the r over y, r over y, that's negative 1. So there are all six trig functions of 270 degrees, or anything coterminal with 270 degrees. Um,